I'm Claire and this is my review of I Am Princess X by Sherry Priest. Sherry Priest is a writer of adult speculative fiction. She does a lot of cool like steampunk, slightly horror-y stuff and she is one of my favourite writers. This is her first YA novel. The story is about May and her best friend Libby and this character of Princess X that they have created together and that they have made into a comic where May was writing the story and Libby was uh, drawing the pictures. At the very very beginning of the book you learn that Libby was in a car crash with her mother and they both died. So you have May obviously trying to um, deal with what's happened and obviously having trouble dealing with what's happened. A few years after Libby's death, May is in town and she sees this flyer uh, for a website called IamPrincessX.com and on the flyer it's got a drawing of Princess X that really 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 looks like the pictures that Libby used to draw. It's clearly the same character design. May is really gobsmacked because she has no idea how anybody except for Libby could have done this. No one really knew about this and all of the comics that they did together were kind of given away to Goodwill uh, after Libby died. Did someone find the box full of comics or is it actually Libby's ghost or is she not? What is going on? So you've got this mystery that uh, May is trying to solve and the first thing that she does of course is to check out the website imprincessx.com. She finds uh, this comic which exists within the book itself. You can see right here. There is a lot of really creepy creepy things in that comic that make May think that there might be a little more to the story than just someone found the box of comics at Goodwill and thought it was cool. I'm not going to say any more about the plot. It was a really, really cool mystery to watch unfold. I didn't really know what genre this would be when I picked it up because the cover makes me think why contemporary. However, the kind of pitch of it is sufficiently eerie and creepy that you think there might be something supernatural and then of course Cherry Priest is a speculative fiction writer. The written narrative is interspersed with uh, pages of the comic that Libby and May drew together when they were kids. So this one is the kind of more childlike uh, style from the beginning uh, before all the drama happened and then later on you've got something a little bit more like this. I'm not going to show you a lot of the comic because it could get very very spoilery very very quickly um, but it was really really cool to have the the interlude of the comic and the comic itself because it's a story about a princess is a bit more like a kind of fairly dark fairy tale so you've got all these different aspects that make it something that's really hard to classify in terms of genre but I think it's got a very wide appeal. As I said the comic book passages are more of a dark fairy tale but it's also obviously a story within a story and uh, it's also got some very interesting mirroring aspects between the comic and the written narrative of the book where what's happening in the book is being reflected in the comic and vice versa. By the time you realize that there is a close link between the comic and the narrative and you read some of the comic and you try to figure out what it could mean for the story, it gets very uh, very intense and very eerie and very creepy. One of the things that make this book quite creepy for a book about a comic book princess is that everything in it is super realistic and even the portions that are uh, in the fairy tale comic bring very very true to life. Again I'm sorry I'm being very vague but I think it's a book where uh, it's better if you just get into it and have no idea what's going to happen, so I don't want to spoil too much. And I want to finish by emphasizing the fact that this is a book about May and Libby, who are best friends, and I don't think we see near enough stories that are about two young women being in a very strong friendship and just the consequences of that and the length to which someone would go for that 
uh, other person who is a friend and not necessarily a romantic interest. My only criticism about this book actually is that when the uh, written narrative wraps up at the end you get like a splash illustration from the comic book that just says the end and can't show it to you because spoilers. And I would have quite liked to see a couple of extra pages of the comic so that the story within the comic itself could be wrapped up even though having read the written narrative you know exactly how it wraps up because the two are intimately linked. Uh, but I would have liked to see that resolution within both of those stories uh, that are nested together. But it was still a really great book and a very thrilling read. Absolutely could not put this down. I finished it in about a day and a half. This is a standalone, no sequels on the horizon. However, uh, Sherry Priest has been contracted to write at least one more YA novel. So I'm quite excited about that. And I guess I'll be picking it up because this was kind of different from what I expected. And I really, really enjoyed it. So this was my review of I Am Princess X by Sherry Priest. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've read this book. If you'd like to see more from me, check out the sidebar for more videos. I've got a whole reviews playlist. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button for more videos from me every week. I've been Claire, thanks so much for watching and see you soon.